Today on Space Base Experimental, we're at Goose testing the hypothesis that a food coma can kill your creativity. To guarantee a fair outcome, all participants first underwent a standardized online creativity test. Based on the results, they were split up into two equally creative groups. Both groups were served lunch provided by our partner, Lieferheld, but these two lunches could not have been more different. While one team was served the popular classic cheeseburger and fries, the other team was served actual vegetables, a protein bowl with avocado. Both teams had their fill and it was delicious. It was good, but, uh, but now I feel like super full. It was very different from what I normally eat and now I feel like very healthy. I feel very energized, but I feel energized the whole day, so I don't know if it has anything to do with this. That's good to hear, because now that everybody ate, it's time for the creativity challenges. This would entail the participants doing three different tests in their groups. So who won? We evaluated the answers together with Elliot Gategno, Professor for Creativity and Innovation at NYU Shanghai, and clinical nutritionist, Caroline Bienert. It's a tie. Good news because it means you can eat whatever you like at lunch without having to be afraid of it negatively impacting your creative performance. So surprisingly, we got a tie. The burger team didn't actually lose. We could not find a statistical relevant difference in the answers to the 30 circles challenge. The burger team clearly outperformed the protein bowl team in the marshmallow challenge. The protein bowl team clearly outperformed the burger team in the alternative uses test. So the jury is still out. It looks like people should just be well fed. But what does the nutritionist have to say about this? First of all, uh, vitamins are very important for us human beings. We need not calories or fat, we need vitamins. If you have a lot of carbohydrates, that's too much simple sugar, then the insulin uh, is raising very high and then it's falling down and then you feel like I'm done for the day. So the most important meal is lunch. Not breakfast, not dinner. You can skip breakfast and uh, dinner, never skip lunch. Uh, whether we won or lost, at least I've had more vegetables today than I've had all week. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more Experimental.